Tara here again and we'll continue with our same topic no but our session 6 for salvation package for today magpray muna tayo Father once again we just want to give you this time Father we are just blessed to be learners but not just learners but doers of your word and thank you for giving us an understanding heart and mind so that, so that, Lord, today, once again, we will learn and we will change. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. So, pakita ko ulit yung table. So, welcome to our training, Quaran training again. And uh, I'll just like to take off from, from, from this table so that makonect natin what we've had last time. Okay. So, last time, ang na-discuss natin is saved from, okay? So, we are saved from the penalty of sin. We are saved from the power of sin, no? Ito yung pinakamadugo, yung being uh, saved from the power of sin daily, no? As we continue to live and mature and grow in the Lord Jesus Christ. And of course, yung last, yung presence, saved from the presence of sin, ito po yung ating future. Pag nasa langit tayo, doon na tayo saved from the presence of kasalanan. So today po, patuloy natin, no? Sa letter B na tayo ngayon, save by grace through faith. Alam na natin to, alam din natin ito, right? So mag-review lang tayo ngayon. So we are saved by grace through faith. Of course, no, saan na faith yan? Dapat kay Jesus lang. Okay? So it's very clear that it is the name Jesus. Okay. So Romans 5.10, sabi doon, For since our friendship with God were, was restored by the death of His Son, while we were still His enemies, we'll certainly be saved through the life of His Son. So it's very clear in the last phrase, we are saved through the life of His Son. Okay? So, wala nang mag-question dyan na baka merong other way, no? Baka merong ibang pangalan. Wala na pong ibang pangalan. Tapos sa Acts 16, 30 to 31, What must I do to be saved? Ano ang sagot? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? And you will be saved, you and your household. Klaro naman yan. Alam na natin yan. Okay? So, in 1 Timothy 1.15, it is clear that Jesus came into the world to save sinners. So, we are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ alone. Sabi nga, no, in one teaching that we've had, matagal na yon, it's sola Cristo, no, Jesus alone. So, that means, no, that every sinner, no, if he or she is to be saved, it is only through Jesus Christ. Okay. So, yan po ang pangalawa. I will not dwell on that so much dahil alam naman natin yan and we have verses to, to, to uh, support. And then the next is we are saved for. Okay. Saved for. So, ito yun, no? isa sa mga plano talaga ng Panginoon na bakit tayo gisave for a relationship. Ay, sino dyan, no? Define the relationship. So, i-define natin ngayon ang relationship natin with Jesus. Now, John 17, 3. And this is the way to have eternal life. ba? Nung na-save tayo, we were saved from eternal death and condemnation in hell. And we are saved to have eternal life. Okay, and this is the way to have eternal life, to know you. See, know you, para makilala ka, the only true God and Jesus Christ, the one you sent. Okay, so, uh, bakit natin pwedeng makilala ang ating Panginoon? Okay, dahil sa isang relationship na meron tayo. ba katulad ng mag-asawa, kung gusto mong lalong makilala ang iyong ang isang iyong girlfriend, mag-asawa muna kayo, okay? Or yung boyfriend, magpakasal muna kayo. And then you get to know each other. Ganyan din no yung relationship natin kay Lord, no? We are saved for a relationship. At the first relationship, love niyo grabe itong relationship natin kay Lord. Una, ginawa niya tayong children niya, at children of God. Okay? So how many of you, no? 
sure na kayo na anak kayo ni Jesus or ni Father. Anak tayo ng God the Father through Jesus Christ. Sabi ng John 1.12, But to all who believed Him and accepted Him, He gave the right to become children of God. Okay? No? Kailangan pa bang i-explain niya? No? Basta na-receive natin si Jesus, na-accept natin, meron na tayong K. No? Meron tayong karapatan na tawagin ng mga anak ng Panginoon. Galatians 3.26 For you are children of God through faith in Christ Jesus. No, wala nang mag-doubt niyan. And I will be your father in 2 Corinthians 6.18 And I will be your father and you will be my sons and daughters. Uh, Di ba ang sarap ng feeling? Says the Lord Almighty. In Romans 8.14 ito, For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. Sino bang nag-lead sa'yo? Are you led by the Holy Spirit? Na, kung hindi ka led sa Holy Spirit, may verse ako para sa'yo. 1 John 3.10 So now we can tell who are children of God and who are children of the devil. So dalawa lang po. We are either children of God or children of the devil. Anyone who does not live righteously, you take note of this. Anyone who does not live righteously, and does not love, nako, ito po, uh, distinction natin to, and does not love other believers, does not belong to God. Klaro ba po? So, ano ang implication nito? Wala ng orphans. At saka walang orphan spirit, no? Sa mga anak ni Lord. Walang orphan. Because you have a heavenly father, no? And you have a spiritual family. So kung mag-orphan, orphan yan, ewan ko lang kung kaninong anak yan. Okay ba? Okay. And another relationship, no? No more than children. Di ba sa, sa mga ano, sa mga papa at saka mama, meron silang mga anak na anak lang, pero yung iba friend nila, close nila. So alam nyo, merong another level tayo of relationship. Gusto nyo yan? Na hindi lang tayo anak, Besh, besh pa natin, no? Beshi pa tayo ni Lord. Because we are friends of God. He is in our friend ni Lord. Okay? Romans 5.11, it says, So now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends with Him. Isn't that awesome, no? And in John 15.13, there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, sabi ni Jesus. It's Jesus speaking here. You are my friends if, agoy, my condition, kapatid, no? If you do what I command. I no longer call you slaves because a master doesn't confide in his slaves. Now you are my Friends, okay. Since I have told you everything the Father told me, you didn't choose me, I chose you, I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit. So ang totoong friendship ni Lord, no? ang totoong beshi ni Lord, magproduce ng lasting fruit so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. Alam nyo ba, sa Old Testament, very few were called by God His friends. Alam niyo ba yun? Sino lang yun? Si Abraham. Si Moses. No? Yun lang sila. Sino pa? May naalala pa kayo na sinabi ni Lord na friend niya? Pero in the New Testament, lahat tayo, friends of God. Isn't that amazing? No? If we do what He commands. No? Lahat tayo, friends ni Lord. Kaya sabihin mo ang pangalan mo. You, you say your name. And say, and say, I am a friend of God. So, Julness, I am a friend of God. Oh, say your name. Okay? Friend tayo ni Lord. Walang duda. Kailang choosy si Lord pala sa friendship niya. Besh, no? So, yun lang, tumang, yun lang mga tao na tumanggap kay Jesus ang magiging friend. No? Hindi lang anak kung magiging friend. So, sabi ko nga, wala nang lonely-lonely dyan. No? Wala nang mga friendly, friendless and lonely na mga anak ni Lord. Isn't that amen, no? So sabi nga ng Proverbs 18:24, friends come and friends go, but a true friend sticks by you like family. Uh, and Jesus sticks by you like family, more than family, okay? So it's a kind of relationship that grows, no? Katulad dun ng mag-uyab or mag-asawa, nag-grow talaga yung relationship, no? 
lalo na yung relationship natin kay Jesus. At for a relationship to grow, it will always be tested. O sino may mga asawa dyan? Di ba na-test na rin ang inyong friendship? <laughs> ang inyong pagiging mag-asawa? No? At dyan sa test na yan, malalaman mo kung loyal friend ka or hindi. Okay. No? Kung loyal friend ka or hindi. So, pwede akong magtanong, can you be counted as a loyal as a loyal and faithful friend of God. Okay? So, yan po, no? So, we are saved for our relationship. God has overcome our greatest problem. Na-overcome ni Lord ang pinakagrabe nga problema, which is sin. So, He can bring us into a relationship with Him. Fruitful, lasting relationship with Jesus. And finally, we are saved to okay save to no save to saan to glorify the father okay so di ba anak na tayo ng father ano ba kung ikaw is isa kang anak ano ang pinaka greatest goal mo sa buhay or maybe one of your life goals is it to make your father proud of you di ba so lalo na tayo mga anak tayo ng panginoon no isa talaga sa maka makahappy kay lord Something that will really make him pleased and happy with us is when we glorify the Father. Sabi nga sa Matthew 5.16, In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. Alam nyo na to, no? So, how do we glorify our heavenly Father? It's in letter And letter A, live a holy life. Okay? Say it with me, holy life. So ito na po yung sanctification process. Ito na po yung paano natin ma-exercise yung being free from the power of sin. Gets? Okay. So sabi ng 1 Timothy 1.9, For God saved us and called us to live a holy life. Okay? He did he did this not because we deserved it, but because that was his plan from the beginning of time time to show us his grace through Jesus Christ. Okay? So we don't deserve anything, but because of the grace of Jesus, no, we have been saved so that it is also by his grace that we can live a holy life life okay so, so we are saved to glorify the father how by living a holy life and we will be uh, extensively discussing about this no in the next session okay and letter b so saved to glorify the father by living a holy life and letter b we are saved to glorify the father so that we can serve the father okay we are saved To serve, okay. So First Timothy 1:11 that comes from the glorious good news entrusted to me by our blessed God. So, merong entrust sa atin na glorious good news. Pinagkatiwala sa yon. Anak kaman kaya, no? Or friend kaman ni Lord. Meron si Lord pinagkatiwala sa yon, okay? At yung pinagkatiwala niya sa yon na kailangan natin mapakita, no? sa mga tao, lalo na sa mga lost, is this good news. Okay. And in verse 12, sabi ni, ni Paul to Timothy, I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who has given me strength. Okay. We, have, we are given the strength. Kaya natin to. Diba? Ano yung verse natin? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. To strength to do His work. He considered me trustworthy. See? No? Hindi yan pagkatiwala ni Lord sa kung sino-sino lang dyan. Pinagkatiwala niya lang yan sa kanyang mga anak at sa kanyang mga friendship. Okay? Trusted, trustworthy, and appointed me to serve Him. So you are served, you, you are saved to glorify the Father by living a holy life 
and by serving Him. So, you know, salvation is not just about cleansing our life inside out, no? Offering forgiveness, na pinatawad na tayo ni Lord at bigyan tayo ng, ng chance sa buhay na makapunta tayo sa langit, no? It's so much more than that. Salvation is not being, is not just being saved from something, it is also being saved to serve, okay? Say it with me, saved to serve. And in the Bible, ang daming binigay si Jesus na examples. Paano mag-serve? Okay? And ito yung gusto natin. Ako, this is my prayer na ang heart ko, no? ganito palagi ang heart natin na mag-serve kay Lord. We serve in love and with love. Always, our motivation is love. No? Kailangan, Lord, kailang matutunan ko pa kung paano mag-love ng katulad ng pag-love mo sa amin. And we serve in humility. No? Jesus demonstrated this by washing the disciples' feet. Okay? And we serve in gratitude. Diba? He who is forgiven much will love much. So you see, see Jesus, He came to seek and save the lost. That's how he served his father. And it was so costly for him. It was death on the cross. But you know, my friends, let me tell you this. It pays to serve Jesus. Everything about us, no? all our life, it's all worthwhile to serve Jesus. Is that amen? So, yan po, no? Balik natin sa table. Yan po ang complete package of salvation. So, na may naintindihan po ba tayo? So, from now on, no? Hindi lang tayo focus dun sa save from. Pero, let's look at the other aspects of having been saved by grace through faith in Christ Jesus. Can we pray? Lord, salamat po talaga for a broader, Lord, understanding, a more extensive understanding of what it means to be saved, oh God. Ngayon, Lord, naintindihan namin, Lord, ng pag-save mo sa amin, Lord, is so much more than just protecting us from hell or saving us from hell. But it's so much more, Lord, so that indeed, ma-experience namin, Panginoon, kung paano, how to live. Lord, this life, obeying you, growing to be more and more like you, and eventually, Father, enjoying really to the fullest this life that you have meant for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.